Damon and I have been friends for, I would say, maybe 10 or 12 years. Of course, like a lot of people, I discovered who he was through his promotion of Reflections of Evil. I, I saw the film and I immediately became an enormous fan and uh, really liked his work. Uh, eventually, I helped him out with his movie Fox Fur and um, uh, more prominently his movie Nausicaa, Tales of the Valley of the Wind. Just kind of like small PA stuff here and there, but I, I knew I wanted to be involved with what he was doing because I consider him to be a great talent and a very good friend. And then spending a lot of time with him in those long periods of downtime between productions, um, we just kind of organically developed characters and ideas and him being the great idea man thought he could work my impersonation of Friedkin pretty well into, into Nightfall. So if you know Damon and you hang around him enough and you're accessible, you'll probably be in one of his movies. Damon is, uh, is a, an outstanding friend, but a very challenging person to know because of his uh, strange lifestyle and his, uh, his um, he's, he's nocturnal. So when you're on a regular schedule like me, he's kind of, uh, it, there's, a, there's some chaos attached to knowing him. Uh, as an artist, he's uh, quite a bit different. Uh, he seems to really be in his element, and when you see his work, it really convinces you of, of how his mind works purely as an artist, as a great visual artist. And you get a sense of the artist when you're spending time with him, but it's usually, um, you know, scraping around for pennies for the next cheeseburger or slice of pizza. That's, that's a big component of knowing the man. Um, but the artist, yeah, it's, he really is, there's, there's a really beautifully organic component to his art. Um, it, it, it's, there's a lot of social commentary and um, a great purity to his work. And it's sometimes not always evident when you spend time with him, you know, in some greasy pizza joint watching a hockey game. It's amazing how self-contained his process is. He's holding camera, it, it's a casual style that has a hint of formality to it. Sometimes shots are locked off, sometimes there's, it feels like, it's remarkable the results that he gets from his uh, relaxed, uh, almost um, handheld style. It's, it's amazing how much it looks because because he he knows how to build atmosphere in a really beautiful organic way like just m having a tree branch move in the background uh, or you know creating filters with his fingers he's uh, he's he's using sometimes a small crew which I've experienced on some of his sets but other times it's just him just him and a camera but his ideas start flowing and it's remarkable how with just uh, just by himself without a crew, he can create a lot of atmosphere very organically. And uh, Well, I like all that stuff. I find it entertaining. I think a lot of it is muddy and dated. I think a lot of the, the, the social commentary, I mean, I understand it's a period piece. It's set in a specific time, but I think a lot of the, the conspiracies that are um, postulated in, in, the, in the piece are varying degrees of corny or out, outdated, really. Uh, I, I find it all enjoyable. I think it's got kind of a loony SCTV kind of non sequitur vibe to it. Um, it, it. It all works for me because that's why I love Damon's movies so much. I, I love uh, the chaos. But as far as like embracing or understanding like the conspiracies, it's it's just a combination of corny and muddy. Not really. But I think that's kind of the intent too. Just kind of throwing everything into the blender. Well, it's the subject matter is, it always shocks me because every few years I'll see a movie that it's obviously very disjointed, it's very fractured, it's, 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 uh, there's a lot of visual and thematic non sequiturs, but it always surprises me when people haven't learned yet to understand that that's a way to, to tell it, that it can be impressionistic and non-linear, and, and yet you'll still have a lot of people that are like, oh, it didn't make any sense, I hate it. Well. Sure, I, if you're looking for, I'm surprised that people are still as narrow-minded about it after so many years of that type of movie existing. I'm thinking like in terms of like at the, at the big level, like the David Lynch movies with the fractured storylines and the dreamlike textures and things like that. So it surprises me that there's still a lot of resistance to that kind of stuff. So I mean, to the average person, it's just not gonna be accessible at all. 
So I'm Mike Hickey. I play Trent DuPont in the movie. Also, I guess a producer and uh, yeah.